Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toasty Bros. And today we're gonna be showing you guys this $800 full streaming and gaming setup. This setup features the $500 PC we did just recently, and it does perform really well. Check the video in the top right corner if you haven't seen that. We're gonna be testing the limits of the NVENC encoder on the 1650 Super. But before we get into that, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by Mesh Force and their Mesh Wi-Fi system. Do you have dead spots in your house where you can't get a Wi-Fi signal? Well, that is where a Mesh Wi-Fi system comes into place. Mesh Force has some of the most affordable, powerful, and configurable Mesh Wi-Fi systems on the market to help dramatically improve your Wi-Fi coverage around your house. Their top-of-the-line M3 system offers gigabit Ethernet and seamless roaming, which allows you to automatically switch from point to point throughout your house so you can keep a strong signal no matter where you are. If you want to learn more about Mesh Force and their collection of Mesh Wi-Fi systems, check the link in the description down below and use the discount code to save 10% off their already amazing prices. Thanks again to Mesh Force for sponsoring today's video. So you guys have probably seen these before, but if you haven't, a full streaming setup features typically dual monitors, a webcam, a mic, all of the main peripherals such as headset, keyboard, mouse, and then obviously the PC, all for a bundle of $800. And links in the description down below for everything are affiliate links that does help us out if you buy anything. Our setups work great because they do include the computer, but you could just use these peripherals with your computer if you wanted to and get really good results. Also keep in mind, it is an $800 streaming setup. There are definitely compromises made and with everything going on in the world, we definitely had to cut some corners and things like the webcam department. But we are actually really impressed with how this thing turned out. So how about we go ahead and talk about each part of this setup and how it makes up the $800 budget. All right, guys, as I mentioned once again, this is our $500 gaming PC. If you haven't seen this video, hit the eye in the top right corner to check this video out. But this PC features a Xeon combo that we got. The Xeon in this PC is the E3 1231V3, which is a four core, eight threaded Xeon processor that, well, did really well in our test in this video. It's actually a really good value. Now, you might not be able to get this exact combo on eBay, but that general video was just talking about the AliExpress combos you can get, and also just the idea of buying used combos right now, and everything going on and it is a great value build it came with 16 gigs of ram and we decided to upgrade it with the 1650 super which is going to be the star of the show today because we're going to be using that turing invink encoder which is going to allow us to stream at near x264 medium quality without putting any sort of stress on the cpu so that cpu can carry us in gaming and also the 1650 super will be more than enough to play pretty much any game we want at 1080 high settings and you're going to see the power of it when we do the streaming test here in a minute but very impressed with this pc Again, check the video out if you haven't seen that already, but this is an awesome build for the money. Let's talk about how the streaming setup is going to be put together with the monitors and all that other stuff. So to go ahead and start off, we'll do the most expensive components. This is dual Acer 22 and a half inch FreeSync IPS 75 Hertz monitors. So they're 1080p, they come with an HDMI and a VGA for the input, and honestly, at the time of purchase, these monitors were a whopping $81 a piece, which is really good. And that was on Amazon, brand new. Now, we actually just looked and they're currently out of stock. So we'll have some alternates if these ones don't come back in stock, but really good deal. Monitors are starting to kind of come down, especially for you know the smaller, cheaper ones, but matching monitors, that's pretty awesome. Now for the webcam, there's really not even like a brand, but I think there might be some random one in the front, but all of these 1080p webcams are like the exact same. They're all gonna have kind of mediocre quality for around 30 bucks, but for around $30 and you're not doing a lot of full cam streaming, you can't really tell much of a difference between this and something like a C920 when you're on a smaller screen like that. So we think we're gonna make this camera look pretty good, especially if we get some proper lighting with some soft boxes like these, you know, for an extra 20 bucks, and then also just changing the brightness in OBS. The next thing that we have is this crazy RGB Red Dragon combo. So this is the S101BA2. So it comes with a keyboard, which is RGB, it's membrane, but you know, for honestly around $50, I can't complain because we got a keyboard, we got a headset, we got a mouse, and we have a mouse pad. So all of this is, you know, it's pretty, I guess you could call it low quality, but for $50, you can't do much better because for $50 for like a decent mechanical keyboard, that's all you're gonna get is the keyboard. We've managed to get headset, keyboard, mouse, mouse pad for $50. So highly suggest checking out the Red Dragon stuff. They have some really good deals. 
And lastly, we have the FeeFine USB PNP mic. So these are around $30 to $40 typically on Amazon. And it's honestly one of the best USB mics you can get. We actually all have one in our office because we have that really cool audio mixer. But if we ever want to do any personal recordings, we needed something to do that with. We're not all going to go out and buy like Blue Yetis or Samson's, even though they're really awesome. We decided, hey, let's just get these FeeFine ones. And honestly, they work really well. And you guys will get to see that example once we actually start doing the stream. So why don't we go ahead and do some streaming tests on this? No. Oh. It looks pretty good though. This looks like a pro stream. For $800, this is what you could be doing, nobody here in chat. Like oh, capture. yeah, okay. So yeah, we're getting like 145 FPS right now. And that's an Overwatch. I'm not sure what settings we're on, honestly. Might be on ultra settings, I think. I, I think it is. It's whatever the last time we played, so I think that that's what it is. It's gonna... All right, I'm switching to Matt. No, they're not. I mean, they hurt, but they they sound good. All right. If you guys like this overlay set, you should definitely check out own.tv. They have a wide collection of overlays, just like this one right here, which is their, this is their Arcade Pro overlay set that you can customize, they're modular, you can make them however you want. You can do a wide range of different overlays. We decided to go with this one with like the uh, the animated effect across and all the stuff up here. And they're actually really affordable. If you do use the link in the description down below, there is a discount code. And look at this sick transition. Ooh. Look at this. You want that stinger? Yeah, you got that stinger with uh, owned overlays. So highly suggest that if you want to check them out. Links in the description down below. The webcam might not be that great, but owns overlays, they make it look way better. So let's go ahead and try another game real quick. Hey, frame rate is looking pretty solid. It looks like the bottleneck is a 1650 Super, which is what we expected and what we noticed when we were doing the benchmarks of this PC, which that video isn't even out yet, guys. You'll see that video at some point in time. Hello. Oh, God. Did you already die? Wait, did he spawn with a gun? Well, he had his pistol and he just smacked me. That was awful. All right, here we go, boys. Let's try this again. Let's go back out there. We still got a chance. Oh, I forgot you spawned with a pistol and gun. You haven't played this in a while, have you? No. We're going back, boys. Oh, he grin. Oh, of course he did. I'm dead. That didn't work out very well, ladies and gentlemen. What the heck is that gun, bro? The auto pistol. 97th. That wasn't great, was it, guys? Not great at all. Definitely, if people stop gouging the webcam market, you know, you could get a better webcam, but I mean, hey. It works. You can see it. It is $800 for everything. You cannot complain here, ladies Especially and gentlemen. Especially right now with streaming, like, you know, mics, webcams, that stuff's hard to get for cheap. Oh, dude, the recoil. Ooh. We hit him. We got a head, a header shotter. A header shotter. Probably won't even see any lag because it, unless it dips below 30 FPS. <laughs> oh, you think maybe it's just us for the preview? Yeah. Well, I mean, they're seeing at 30, so I mean, you know. Definitely just think. Probably didn't get a whole lot of time to I got do much feral. You guys want these owned overlays? Look at them, guys. They're beautiful. Got those beautiful transitions. Beautiful singer transitions. Do we have a code or anything they can use? Yeah, links down below, ladies oh, and gentlemen. Okay. Links, links in the description. Down below. Owned. Save some money. Awesome overlays. Um, and yeah, they also do avatars and a bunch of other artwork stuff. So check them out if you haven't done so already. Thanks again to Own for sponsoring this portion of today's video. How about we go ahead and well wrap this video? We'll up do end. Way. We're gonna end. You ready for this? Dang. Let's wrap this video up real quick, ladies and gentlemen. Goodbye. Okay guys, so I'm pretty impressed because we were able to play every single game that we wanted to with minor FPS drops and honestly for $800, this is like comparable to my streaming setup at home, which is probably closer to two grand. Of course, there were issues in games like Call of Duty Warzone with the GPU allocation problem. The 1650 Super is a budget card, but it can definitely stream games like Overwatch and Rainbow Six Siege without any problems. And that would definitely uh, translate over to things like Fortnite and Valorant. No issues whatsoever, or Halo if you wanna play. Games like that, you're not gonna have any problems streaming. So for an entry-level streaming PC, if those are the kind of games you play, this would be a great starting option. 
Another thing to keep in mind is that this PC could technically handle a better GPU as well because be it this is a four core eight threaded processor, it's still pretty good and honestly you could probably put like a 1660 Super, maybe a 2060 Super at the most. But if you do want to try to play some better high end games with the NVENC encoder, go for a better graphics card if you can afford it. So overall, very impressed with the setup. If you're interested in any of this stuff, links in the description down below. They are affiliate links. If you do use those links, they do help us out. Also, special thanks again to OWN for helping us out with the overlay section of this video. They have some really awesome overlays, so check the link in the description down below as well. So we appreciate you guys watching today's video. If you haven't already, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toasty bros. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. One bar on the camera battery. Woo-hoo!